Hello, this is David White from Sportsman's Emporium, and I'm just going to give a little basic shooting tips on um, archery today and how to hold your bow and a couple little tips that you can remember that can help you be more accurate and, um, and protect your forearm. Um, we have a lot of new shooters getting into the sport. The sport of archery is growing huge, um, especially for kids. Um, you know, it might be the Hunger Games that's catching fire, but something is fueling this whole thing, and it is definitely a growing sport. Um, so I spend a lot of my time giving lessons to first timers, and one of the there's two things I consistently notice that people struggle a little bit with um, when they're holding their bow, and like when you're when you're shooting bow and you want to be accurate, there is definitely certain little nuances in your form and the way you hold the bow and position your body that can help you be a better shooter. And it really all comes down to helping your body feel relaxed. Um, for instance, a lot of people like to hold their bow straight out and lock their elbow. And this whole thing is locked. Well, that's not proper. You actually want some bend in your elbow. You don't want to be stretched out because it kind of pulls your shoulder up and it tightens up your chest a little bit and that you know it helps distract your shot it keeps you from being relaxed and more accurate especially at longer distances so a lot of people struggle with that one of the worst things it does though is it it leaves bruises and welts a lot of people will realize you know when they first shoot a bow they'll come in here I shot my friend's bow and now I have this humongous red mark on my arm that hurts really bad and what's happening is when they're releasing their string their arms locked so the string hits it and that can actually tear skin off even it can be pretty painful um, there's two things that can cause that and they both were come back to the same thing if you're shooting a bow that's not adjusted to your proper draw length and it's longer than it should be, the bow's longer than your draw length, you're going to have that. You're going to have to stretch your arm out and stretch your chest out and, and really tense up your body and you're expending a lot of energy when you're doing that and you're also putting your arm out there to get hit. Once you, when you come into a bow pro shop like ours or any other bow pro shop, you know, you get set up with the proper draw length, you know, most, most bow shop technicians will give you a little pointer on shooting form. And when your draw length is adjusted right, you should be able to draw your bow back to shooting position and still have a nice bend in your elbow. What this does is it helps keep your shoulder down, it helps relax your upper body, so that you can conserve more energy throughout shooting and you're a little less shaky when you're holding because it's easier on your whole upper body. I think the biggest thing that can help people with shooting is just simply relaxing. Um, another thing, so I'm going to take a few shots after this to kind of show you. Another thing we get is a lot of people want to take this grip of the bow and it is like a death grip. I mean they want to squeeze that thing as hard as they can you know and choke up on it like a baseball bat and that that's really not what you should do in fact um, holding it straight vertical like this is actually wrong you actually want to have a little tilt into your hand and that kinda when you combine I'm gonna put this thing in here like this and then sort of tilt my hand and when I combine with that that hand tilt with my elbow relaxing it really gives me the proper shooting form to conserve the most energy, to feel more relaxed when you're shooting. And it might feel awkward at first, but trust me, if you begin to shoot like this and practice those things, you will definitely get better quicker. And that's a big deal. To give a little bit better visual example, what I was saying is a lot of people have a tendency to want to grab their bow and hold it like this, and lock their elbow. And that's not right. Um, you actually want your elbow to be in and you want your hand to be canted a little bit towards the side. Mine naturally drifts that way. Basically this part of the bow should come down across this part of your thumb, not out here. It should be right down under here. So you get it like this and then you tilt it in, rest that thing right along the bottom of your thumb 
and I like to grip it a little bit with my top finger and, and not really do much with this. The pressure of the bow is going to hold the string. The, whole, the pressure of the string is going to hold the bow in your hand. You don't even have to squeeze. And, and you shouldn't squeeze because squeezing will catch your bow like this. And that can throw you off. So when you're at full draw, you really just want the bow, you want your hand tilted a little bit up like this. I don't like to put my fingers up. I keep them like this. Your elbow bent in a little bit. And when you're drawing your bow, you just want to let the pressure of the draw of your bow hold it against your thumb without squeezing. You can wrap your hands around it and get a nice light grip. I'll grip it really lightly, but I never squeeze my bow because it does that if you do, and it can throw your arrows off. That little stuff shows up more at longer distances, like 30 yards. You know, you can shoot at 10 yards, and sometimes this stuff won't show up. But when you're out to 30 yards, your arrows are consistently going left or something like that. And it's, that's usually the problem. It's just form. A lot of people want to recite their bows when it's usually the nut behind the bow, like myself, that's getting it wrong. So I'm going to shoot an arrow and um, just show you what this looks like in practice. So I'm going to clip my release on. You know, got my finger behind the trigger. That is the safety mechanism for archery when you're shooting with the trigger release. I'm going to draw my bow back. As you can see, I've got my elbow bent. I've got my hand turned in. I'm going to hold on there and, and release. 